What the Buddha Taught by Walpola Raula. Section. The Last Words of the Buddha. Then the Blessed One addressed the Venerable Ananda. It may be, Ananda, that to some of you the thought may come. Here are, we have, the words of the teacher who is gone. Our teacher we have with us no more. But Ananda, it should not be considered in this light. What I have taught and laid down, Ananda, as doctrine, dhamma, and discipline, vinaya, this will be your teacher when I am gone. Just as Ananda, the bhikkhus now address one another with the word friend, avuso, they should not do so when I am gone. A senior bhikkhu, Ananda, may address a junior by his name, his family name, or with the word friend. A junior bhikkhu should address a senior as sir, bhanti, or venerable, ayasma. If the sangha, the community, the order, should wish it, Ananda, let them, when I am gone, abolish the lesser and minor precepts, rules. When I am gone, Ananda, the highest penalty should be imposed on the bhikkhu chana. Footnote, literally divine penalty, Brahmadanda. End of footnote. But sir, what is the highest penalty? Let the bhikkhu chana say what he likes, Ananda. The bhikkhu should neither speak to him, nor advise him, nor exhort him. Footnote 2. Chana was the close companion and charioteer of Prince Siddhartha before he became the Buddha. Later, he entered the order of the Sangha, was egoistically proud because of his close association with the Master. He tended to be obstinate and self-willed, lacking in proper esprit de corps, and often behaving perversely. After the Parinirvana, death of the Buddha, when Ananda visited Chana and pronounced on him this penalty of a complete social boycott, even his proud spirit was tamed. He became hum humble. His eyes were opened. Later he mended his ways and became an arahant, and the penalty automatically lapsed. End of footnote. Then the Blessed One addressed the bhikkhus. It may be, bhikkhus, that there may be doubt or perplexity in the mind of even one bhikkhu about the Buddha, or the Dhamma, or the Sangha, or the path, or the practice. Ask, bhikkhus. Do not reproach yourselves afterwards with the thought, Our teacher was face to face with us. We could not ask the Blessed One when we were face to face with him. When this was said, the bhikkhus remained silent. A second time, and a third time, too, the Blessed One addressed the bhikkhus, as above. The bhikkhus remained silent even for the third time. Then the Blessed One addressed them and said, It may be, bhikkhus, that you put no questions out of reverence for your teacher. Then bhikkhus let friend speak to friend. Footnote. The idea is that if they did not like to put any question directly to the Buddha out of respect for their teacher, a, Buddha sh a bhikkhu should whisper the question to his friend, and then the latter could ask it on his behalf. End of footnote. Even at this, those bhikkhus remained silent. Then the Venerable Ananda said to the Blessed One, it is wonderful, sir. It is marvelous, sir. I have this faith, sir, in the community of bhikkhus here, that not even one of them has any doubt or perplexity about the Buddha, or the Dhamma, or the Sangha, or the path, or the practice. You speak out of faith, Ananda, but in this matter, Ananda, the Tathagata, the Buddha, knows, 
and knows for certain that in this community of bhikkhus there is not even one bhikkhu who has any doubt or perplexity about the Buddha, or the Dhamma, or the Sangha, or the path, or the practice. Indeed, Ananda, even the lowest in spiritual attainments among these 500 bhikkhus is a stream entrant, Sotapatthana, not liable to fall into lower states, is assured and is bound for enlightenment. Then the Blessed One addressed the bhikkhus, saying, Then, bhikkhus, I address you now. Transient are conditioned things. Try to accomplish your aim with diligence. These were the last words of the Tathagata from the Mahaparinibbana Sutta of the Dhyanakaya, Sutta number 16. End of section. What follows is a section of abbreviations from the footnotes and a selected bibliography for the English reader. After that follows a long glossary and an index. End of What the Buddha Taught by Walpola Raula Read by Desaline